Oh, what is up, Wolfpack? <laughs> it's your boy Liam Light Wolfpack with another episode um, of Pokemon Scarlet uh, Teal Mask DLC. Real quick, drink warning. Okay, that wasn't quick, but it was real. Um, um, uh, if you're new to this series or to my channel in general, welcome. If you're and if you're not new, if you're a returning viewer, whether of this series or just my channel in general, welcome back. Um, uh, as we get into things, um, first of all, warnings before I continue moving. Uh, flashing lights slash seizure warning. Mm. Excuse me. Motion sickness warning. Now that those first two are, are out of the way, I can move on. Um. Oh, excuse me. Um, swearing, sex jokes, awkward, questionable, and or uncomfortable commentary. All those mixed with, um... Animal violence, critter violence, video game violence, but since it's Pokemon, most of the dark stuff is going to be in the story and the Pokedex entries. Um, the base game, Pokemon Scarlet, uh, touches on topics such as loss of family, bullying, and ostracization, as well as dark jokes like characters saying that they thought that they were going to unalive, or did unalive, or might unalive. Um, also, you know creature on human violence as well um, in the in the base game um, and the DLC touches on loss of life bullying ostracization xenophobia alienation um, uh, feelings of inadequacy slash depressive feelings themes and etc um, depression and other such things uh, oh, on top of that, um, rude, crude, uh, questionable, M-rated, R-rated, I, for, I, I forgot it again, rude, crude, aw rude, crude, M-rated, R-rated, questionable, It, it, it's it's something similar to to rude and crude and M rated and R rated where it's like it's like a, a similar like relation between the two words. I've I've forgotten it. Hang on, let me see if I can find my script. Brb. I said BRB as I paused, <laughs> so I pr probably didn't pick that up, but okay, here it is. M-rated, R-rated, immature, mature, rude, crude, etc., questionable, adult, noises, uh, or, yeah, adult, noises, bodily noises, jokes, commentary, comedy, topics, themes, and etc., as well as eating and or drinking noises, um, such as at the start of the episode. But I'll try and remember to give you a warning like I hopefully did. Um, and the signal to unmute if you muted will be... Or maybe a slower, I don't know. Um, uh, but with all that being said, if any of that offends you, upsets you, triggers you, hurts your feelings, or if anything at any point does any of that or is otherwise something that it would not be recommended for you to watch or would not be permitted for you to watch. For example, if you are photosensitive or if your parents, um, your own personal rules or your and or your beliefs, um, partic well, particularly your parents and your beliefs, um, do not permit or recommend or whatever, uh, you do not permit you to, to watch stuff with swearing and sex jokes and adult topics in it, please feel free to click away. Don't worry about hurting my feelings or don't, you know, don't go, oh, but what about the audience retention? Oh, no. 
Look after yourself. Let your conscience be your guide. Listen to your parents. And above all else, obey God. And help me to do the same, God, on all accounts, and help me not to lead others astray, or cause them to stumble, or cause them to fall off the straight and narrow path. In Jesus' name, and amen. Amen. Oh, and uh, also, I do voices and accents and singing as well, so the same click away invitation applies. And again, eating and or drinking noises. Um, and if you're... I'm just gonna go ahead and explain why I'm gonna give this guy the accent that I give him. Um, it's because when you first meet him, he yells, OI! That's, and that's the tweet. Don't you love Loyalty Plaza Drive? Hello, Liam Scarley. We are very, okay, good, I'm, okay, good, I'm still recording. We are very grateful for all you did to help clear up that horrible confusion over dear Ogrebone. I never dreamed that the loyal tree were in the wrong, and that poor Ogrebone was the victim. Why, we would have gone on passing down the wrong story without a second thought. All that being said, well, I, oh yeah, and sorry if I get too loud or if I am too quiet. Um, uh, my microphone's cranked up. Well, I do fully understand that the loyal tree were villains. You've seen the state of Loyalty Plaza, yes? The statues are ruined, shattered to pieces when those tree were resurrected. Doesn't it pain your heart to see it so? Eh, I don't know, statues are kind of like idols, so, but I don't actually have entirely that viewpoint, so. But also, the Loyal Three were jerks, but also, the people take a lot of pride in this place. No, sorry. Oh, you didn't see what that place looked like before the monument was destroyed, didn't you? I'm sure you you mourn for the loss of such a site, even if your words tell another story. Yeah, I guess it was kind of peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, the actual loyal tree were in the wrong, but the monument brought so many tour. I mean, it brought so much comfort and hope to the people of our village for generations. Which is why I have begun a fundraiser to restore that beloved site to its former state, and I am calling it the We Love Loyalty Plaza Drive. We are looking for donations of 10,000 poke, with the ultimate goal of gathering 1 million poke. So this is, this is, it's, it, it's just honey. This, this is honey from uh, the Isle of Armor Sword and Shield DLC. Be that as it may, couldn't possibly take that kind of money from a student such as yourself. But perhaps you could subtly nudge your parents or teachers to contribute to our cause. Uh-huh. Goodness me! You really wish to give us an entire hundred thousand at once? Yeah. Well, I accept your kind support with gratitude. And here, a little something for you in return. I thought it was going to be something like like going around asking like Mr. Jacques or the two other adults I've met in this entire DLC uh, who aren't the caretaker and who are still present uh, uh, for money. <laughs> a little something for you in return, huh? Ten pretty feathers. Okay. Mm hmm Now let's see what he says when I give him ten thousand. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Pretty feather. Okay. So it's basically I'm just getting a, a return on my investment. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
I wish it was more like Animal Crossing where you could just put in a number to donate. <laughs> oh well. I guess there is a... Forgive me for complaining, God in Jesus' name and amen. Amen. Um, but there is like a big difference between this and uh, Miss Honey's thing in... in the Isle of Armor back in Sword and Shield, back in Galar. <laughs> nah. I was just I was like making fun of myself and then praying because I was treating Galar like it was a real place. <laughs> um, but anyway, forgive me, God and Jesus name and amen for commenting on it in Jesus name and amen forgive me for that. um but yeah like uh um when you donated to Miss Honey uh at the Oh, was was it just called the mustard dojo or something like that? I don't. That doesn't. I don't, I don't know if that's right. But um. Anyway, when you when you donated to Miss Honey, uh, <laughs> um, like you get stuff like uh, like the vitamin vending machine, the the so the drink or the drink vending machine, the. Uh, I think you, I think, uh, you had to unlock the rot Rotomai, or whatever it was called, that way. Um, the, uh, the hairdresser, I think, or the stylist, or whatever. Um, and possibly some other stuff, like a, a yeah, like, b uh, vendors, or whatever. A berry vendor, or something like that. Um. Um, like you got those at donation goals, I guess. But I guess here it's just one one big one big donation goal with little return incentives, I guess. How many more times can I say I guess? No, forgive me, God, in Jesus' name, and Amen. Hello, Sandshrew. Goodbye, Sandshrew. Goodbye, Carolyn. <clears throat> Let's see. Swineup's shiny turns yellow. Sandshrew's shiny turns green, and Rockruff's turns blue. Am I remembering all that correctly? A actually, with Swineup, I'm, I'm assuming more than remembering. Or rather than remembering, because um, uh, if I remember, if I remember correctly, Noivern's turns green, doesn't it? or Noibat rather? That one turns green. I'm, I'm assuming. Um, um, but anyway, um, I'm assuming that uh, Swinub when it's shiny turns yellow because I, if I remember correctly uh, Pile of Swine and Mammoth Swine uh, are yellow as shinies I want to say pink shiny and pink shiny not sure about that one though Top of the morning to you, laddies. Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jacksepticeye. 
And welcome back to another episode of Subnauseous. Not really. Spoiler. I am, in fact, not Jacksepticeye. I know this, much, this must be a terrible shock for you. Okay, no, that's... <laughs> okay, I guess, I guess it was just the lighting or something. You me say, okay. Couldn't figure out what that was fl flying around up here. What? Nope. I wasn't... Don't, don't worry, Sanji, I wasn't telling you to jump off a cliff or something. <laughs> Also, is Ilumise not part flying type? Because it, it's only been showing, um, like, sweat drops instead of sweat drops and, uh, uh um, the, the music note that shows when a Pokemon's typing is super effective against another's. Also, sometimes, sometimes I don't get how they decided to code this because, um, like Geodude has a neutral typing it could be using against, um, against Quaquaval, and yet it still shows sweat drops, which would really only apply if it was pure rock type. But it has the ground typing, which is neutral against both water and fighting. Unle um, you know, unless I'm, unless I'm wrong about something. I'm Raikiri of the Kitakami Ogre Clan. The lightning I wield will shake you to your core. Okay, so she's an electric type user. So. You turn immediately. Oh. And it's faster than me. Yay. Uh oh. Let's see. Could could just go with Bonnie or I could go with Charles. It just dawned on me after I sent Charles in that uh, I think Raichu can learn Focus Blast. Thank you, God. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, so is it just all Pokemon that can learn, uh, like, Thunderbolt? I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm assuming Purple Pass can learn Thunderbolt. <laughs> okay. Well, and, duh, uh, of course, Purple Pass isn't levitating. I don't even know if it can get levitate. Just reminded myself that uh, my phone, phone done charge. All right, Vika Vault. So eh, I'll just Giga Impact or Yawn Giga Impact. That might be smarter. I outspeed a Vikavolt. That is interesting, praise God. Okay, looks like it's gonna be more like... Oh! Uh, 
Yawn, okay. Nah, yawn, giga impact. Yeah! Charles stays out here hitting these giga impacts. I think. Lux Ray. It's going to lower my attack, so. Don't really have anything that could uh, do well against that. Except for Mew with Swift, but then I'd be prone to its crunch. So, Charles, just uh, knock it out with False Swipe. Uh-oh. It doesn't have Intimidate. What other ability does Luxray have? Static? Does that does it get does it get static? I genuinely don't know. Oof. And bluff. It's not a Nuzlocke. Let's see, what does Revival Blessing actually do? Okay. Ooh, Quick Claw. I don't know that I've ever actually used Revival Blessing. Praise God. It's, that's good to know. It's it's like a it's, it's like a revive that uses lepa berries instead. <laughs> See, is low kick uh, okay? Well, I guess I'm not gonna learn. But is low kick the one that lowers speed, or is that l low sweep? So you have defeated a trainer of the Kitakami Ogre Clan. I gave the battle everything I had in everything that I had in me. I have no regrets. All right. I can see behind your mask. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Just see if it was a shiny or not. Or if it is a shiny. Oh, oh. San Sanji's like. down in the water? Sanji has, uh. Elvis has left the building. I <laughs> had, uh, yeah, um. okay. Good job, Sanji? Question mark? Anyway, it's wrap up. Well, it's wrap up time again. It's time to wrap up. Um. Well, forgive me, God, in Jesus' name and amen. Amen. Isaiah chapter, looks like 42, verse 11. Let the wilderness and the cities thereof lift up their voice the villages that Kedar doth inhabit. Let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout, let them shout, bleh. let the inhabitants of the rock sing. Let them shout from the top of the mountains. Amen. Kind of skimmed, or when I was opening up, it, like, I passed by another set of pages, so forgive me, God, in Jesus' name, and amen. Amen. Well, I don't know. Okay, 
So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free and or make sure to leave your paw prints all over the like and subscribe buttons. Feel free to, to leave me a comment if there's anything you want to talk to me about, any advice you want to give me, any questions you want to ask, um, or you just want to start a conversation. And especially if there's anything that I can pray for you about, just let me know. And remember to keep it kind, keep it moral, and keep it nice, both in my comment section and in everyone's comment section and everywhere in general. Um, and I will, of course, pray for you. And also, don't let overthinking keep you from uh, asking for prayer. And help me to do the same, and not to lead anyone astray or cause them to fall off the path or stumble. God, in Jesus' name, and amen. Amen. Peace out, Wolfpack!